Well, it's time for the Woodworkers Fighting Cancer 2014 recap. And holy smokes, was this an awesome effort. 340 toy chests were made. What? I can't believe it. That's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, so great job. We want to thank all of you who built the toy chests. And of course, uh, there's a dollar amount here, right? We were aiming for $15,000. Past years, it was ten. dollars I'm happy to say that we not only hit that goal, but exceeded it. So our final total, this is as of today, $15,648. So thank you so much, everybody, for participating. And congratulations. High five. High five. Job High five well done. In fact, a tear came to my eye this morning when I saw the thermometer reach its goal, and it was like, you hit your goal. It was, it was just amazing. A really, well, we've been really working good on it feeling. for two months. Yeah, yeah, and this is well, five years in the making yeah. to get to this point, right? Yeah. So kind of a big deal. So we also need to thank some of our corporate sponsors because without them, none of this would have happened. Yeah, we want to send out a really big thank you to Powermatic. They donated a bandsaw and a table saw. Mm -hmm. And then, Mark, you put together a package uh, from right. Benchcraft. Yeah, for my old bench parts. And all together, those were amazing things because these are people who are paying for, yeah, they're getting something in return, but they're paying more than the retail price because it's for charity. Mm -hmm. And then Powermatic donates all of the proceeds there uh, to the charity. It was just a great way yeah. to do it. So big thanks to Tim Walsh, mm -hmm. uh, Charles Thompson, and Chris Chris Thompson, two yes. different people. No, I call them the, the Thompson twins. I don't think they would like that. Maybe not, who knows? <laughs> Could be a compliment. Uh, also, big, big thanks to Bell Forest, Best Stool, uh, Eagle America, Circle Perfect Tools, and finally, Brusso. Uh, for coming in and matching gifts and uh, adding in that uh, dollar amount to get us to our 15. I mean, honestly, we wouldn't be able to make it if, if it wasn't for the corporate yeah, sponsors. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and it's, it's our trick to uh, transfer the pressure of the, the financial burden <laughs> to the corporate sponsors instead of everybody. Including us. Yeah. Well, it, it, yeah, yeah. we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, there were a few individuals we'd like to call yeah. out who really went above and beyond helping us out uh, with financial donations or otherwise. So, who do we have here? Where are their names? Right okay. There. Big donors, Jay Talbot, and I'm going to screw names up, so bear with me. Joseph Mensch, Mensch, Joe, you, you and I talk. I just don't know how to say your last name. Uh, <laughs> Wood Creations by Aaron, John Frasco, Steve Taylor, Jason Weigel, uh, Craig Verastro, Guido Hetemen, Linda Gaitonde. <laughs> just like, I was originally going to say the names, but it, I gave it to you. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the one that's good at pronouncing <laughs> names, so whatever that means. Christopher B., Ned Bulkin, Andy, and Joe, uh, Jean, Jean, probably Jean, right? McCorkle, Ellen, and Ellen, Ellen N., <laughs> Matt uh, Sunsnowski, Stephen Tibbetts, Stephen Tibbetts, <laughs> Malcolm Bird, Nick Pichonier. <laughs> And uh, we actually had quite a few anonymous yeah. donors, folks that just didn't want recognition. So thank you, anonymous people think, with no name. I think you just need to go to the, the uh, donation page yeah. and donate. So we have to say your name. Mark has to pronounce your name next year, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, now here's the thing. We also had a donation coming from the Wood Whisperer store. Yeah. All year long, we've been selling mugs and T-shirts with the Woodworkers Fighting Cancer logo on them. And we tally all that and then make a donation at the end of the year. And that was 700 bucks. Now, of course, $5 yeah. per finish. Finished yep. item was what we promised, and we had to write that check virtually, of course, for seventeen hundred dollars. And we weren't the only ones who did mm -hmm. that. Our good buddy Steve over at Mere Mortals also was on the hook for five bucks per finished chest. Uh, by the way, we decided I think next year will be a, a Queen Anne style dresser or something with bent lamination and inlay. <laughs> Maybe uh, keep the numbers down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so Steve um, can't thank him enough because of his promotional uh, push for this and helping us out. I really think that's a large part of the reason why we hit this goal. Definitely. So Steve has a couple of words to say. Let's hear it. Hey, Mark, I just want to take a moment to thank you for organizing the Woodworkers Fighting Cancer Charity Build again this year and for inviting me to help you out. 340 toy chests build and over $15,000 raised to fight cancer. That's Those are some amazing figures. And mostly I just want to thank everybody in the woodworking community. The woodworking community amazes me every day on how tight knit it is and how we can all come together for a cause like this. So thank you all again and I'm looking forward to next year. Well, thanks so much for that video message, Steve. We of course appreciate your support. 
And if you miss the deadline, don't worry. Uh, the page is still there and the plans are still there. The videos are still there. You can build and submit your toy chest at any time and we'll be updating that gallery. Yeah, so if you go to woodworkersfightingcancer.com, scroll down to the bottom, there is an amazingly huge gallery of all the submissions we received. So Nicole, we'll keep adding to it, but make sure you click on each individual one if you're interested in seeing the details, because there might be a story attached to yeah. it, right? People oh. sent some really great heartwarming stories about what their project meant to them, so be sure to check that out. Good stuff. Uh, also, if you are still interested in getting a t-shirt or mug, those are gonna be on sale all year round. And we had to cut it off in, uh, for a for this particular event, but from this point on, all the money raised will go to next year's event. Right, so we just wanna say thank you from the yes. bottom of our hearts. Uh, this is just an amazing event every year. I'm blown away by it, and everybody's contribution to this matters. Every single person that decided to take the time to build this thing mm -hmm. um, contributed $5 to this event. It's just unbelievable. I love it. Yeah. So thank you for your participation. Thanks to all the companies. Um, and thank you for doing all the legwork. She kept this thing going and she's every day uploading pictures and she's like, oh, there's so many pictures. I'm so angry, but I'm no, so happy. No, I never said that. <laughs> it was a lot we like We also that. have a Facebook page too, that if you yeah. like to see the projects so, that way, you yeah. can do that. Woodworkers Fighting Cancer on Facebook. Yep. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Have a good one and we'll catch you next time. Bye.